Um, in our last lesson, this is what we worked on. Um, so in this lesson, uh, we are going to add some style styles to it. So let's start by adding comments on CSS here and we'll um, create that comment CSS here. Okay, so that's what we that's where we're going to start. Um, so we are going to attach to our row our comments row. Okay, so that gives us something to work on. So in comments row, I'm going to push everything down uh, by 30 pixels. And something else we're going to do is uh, come down to here, comment age. So we can target something else. And that would be comment age. And we can give it a font size of 12 pixels. And that would do for now. And something else we can do is have comments well. And we can do something with that here. So push everything above it, uh, 10 pixels, or push itself down. So we have that space there, age is changed and we've done it. Okay, so um, the next thing we want to do is um, deal with these buttons here. So we could come here and say button default and we'll give it a color. We've done this before. We could move um, what we're doing now to our default CSS, but um, for the sake of repetition, we can just do it again. But feel free to move it if you want to. So there we have the color has changed and we'll do the same for, for the hover. So we'll come here, we'll add, when we hover over this, Everything remains the same, except for a background color, which would now be something light like that. Okay, reset, and it worked. All right, so now the next uh, thing I want to do is have a look at this. We can see resizing it um, sort of doesn't work. I will have things all over the place. So let's see how um, we could solve this problem. Okay, so um, we've done something similar in the past, so we can, we know what to do. So starting from here, um, for a small device, we want to be two. Okay, and then the right block for a small device, we want to be 10. So that's a starting point. So when we go back to a small device, um, we have everything in one row. Okay, so uh, it's not looking too bad now. So it's all in one row, but we have a few things to, to fix. Um, if we have a look here, um, it would be nice if it didn't drop, uh, drop um, down like here, as we have age is down there, we need to pull this up. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. So it's a column for a small device. We want this to be uh, 10. And for this age here, on small device, we want it to be two, okay? So we're always adding up to 12. And there we go. So everything is now on the same line. So it's on the same line there, it's on the same line there. So that's, um, it's good, but down here, everything goes a bit bad again. So for image, we don't want image at all on extra small device, so we can hide it like that. So that solves that. But again, we still have this, which would be nice to be up there. So again, uh, we want to add up to 12. Uh, so what I can do here, so column extra small, we want this to be uh, size nine, and here we want extra small to be size three, okay? And then up to 12, reset, and we have everything is now on the same line. 
so it retains this way and all the way through. So that uh, concludes our approved section of things. So now we can um, have unapproved. Um, what I can do is just come here, select our comment row. Okay, copy that and paste it here. So we have two and so that's, we have two rows here. So is the space here is fine. So that's good. So you just want to double check what this will look like when we have more um, rows. Um, if I come to navigation, um, go to unapproved. So we want to change this link to unapproved. So we need to make a new HTML file. Um, in admin, right click new file. And we are going to save this as un, uh, unapproved.html. Okay. Uh, since this page is very much identical to approved, we could copy everything on this page and paste it in unapproved. And then we could change a few things here and there. Um, starting with uh, this here. So there's no more thumbs down. So unapproved page we have approved and that's it there and reset this page here and go to unapproved and we have unapproved there and comments we have everything is there so in the next lesson we are going to work on the tags um, page um, and that pretty much concludes this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson.